A popular topic when you're trying to get pregnant is when should you have sex in order to conceive and make sure that that sperm and egg meet at the right time. Hey guys, I'm Nurse Casey. I'm one of the medical advisors here with Premom, and today we're going to be talking about when to have sex to get pregnant. Don't forget before you leave today to like and subscribe to our Premom YouTube channel. When to have sex to get pregnant? This is such a popular question we see often on our social media pages, over on the Premom app, in our Premom community, and definitely something that we love to answer. When is the right time in order to get the sperm in the fallopian tubes ready to meet the egg during ovulation? The best time to have sex is going to be in your fertile window leading up to ovulation and on your LH peak day plus ovulation day. It's really important to remember that your LH peak day and ovulation day are two different days. You want to try to have sex on both of these days if possible because that is when you're most fertile. Remember your luteinizing hormone is going to surge about 24 to 36 hours before ovulation happens. This is your body's sending a message and telling us ovulation is about to happen and that is that gold perfect time where we want to be having sex to get pregnant. So again, in those days leading up to ovulation, because the sperm can survive up to five days once in the fallopian tube, on that ovulation day and that LH peak day. So those are the two most important days, but we really want to focus on that whole window leading up to ovulation. Now you may have asked yourself or someone else, how often should I have sex in order to get pregnant? What's really important here that I want you to, to take away from this is that it only takes one sperm to get pregnant, just one. So when it comes down to how often do I need to have sex, in reality, you just have to have sex one time in order to get that sperm in the fallopian tube to meet the egg. But when we're trying to get pregnant, we want to optimize our chances and try more than one time. So this is where we're saying we want to try and, and have sex during that fertile window. We like to recommend every other day in your fertile window plus your LH peak day and ovulation day if possible. If not possible, then you want to try to have sex at least once during that fertile window in either your LH peak day or ovulation day. Are there any tips to help you get pregnant? My number one tip to help you conceive is to use your ovulation predictor kits. We want to know when you are ovulating. That is when the egg is going to leave the ovary, head down to the fallopian tubes, and it's ready to be fertilized by a sperm. This is super, super important because you and I will ovulate on two different days. So what may be normal for someone else is not necessarily going to be normal for me. Since we all can ovulate on different cycle days, we really want to use those ovulation predictor kits after our period ends up until we see a spike in luteinizing hormone because ovulation happens about 24 to 36 hours after that spike in LH. It's also really important to remember that even though you may have ovulated cycle day 14 this cycle, next cycle may be a little different. Ovulation can vary slightly from cycle to cycle for the same individual, meaning I could ovulate cycle day 14 this cycle, and then maybe next cycle, I'm not ovulating until cycle day 16. That's why it's really important to use those ovulation predictor kits each cycle because ovulation can vary just slightly from cycle to cycle. Okay. What happens after ovulation and after you've had sex? That egg has now left the ovary, gone down into the fallopian tube. Hopefully it has met with a sperm. Once it meets with the sperm, fertilization is going to take place. And the fertilized egg is now going to travel down the fallopian tube anywhere from five to six days until it gets into the uterus. Once it's in the uterus, this is where the magic happens implantation. We want that fertilized egg to implant somewhere in that uterine lining in order for that nice healthy pregnancy to start to grow. This is when we can now start taking a pregnancy test. So after implantation happens, we want to give it about three or four days in order for that pregnancy hormone to really go up. Since we don't know when implantation is happening, we like to say it's about between six to 10 days post ovulation. We want to wait a few days after that would potentially happen before we take a pregnancy test to make sure that HCG has actually gone up. So 
when should we take a pregnancy test? We want to wait until 12 to 14 days post ovulation because if implantation isn't happening until day nine or 10 post ovulation, and we need that three to four days in order for that pregnancy test to go up, it may not be until 12 to 14 days before we actually have a positive pregnancy test. Is it possible to have a pregnancy test sooner than that? Absolutely. Some women can see a positive pregnancy test anywhere from like nine to 10 days post ovulation, but that's really rare. That doesn't happen with everyone. So if, if you try to take a pregnancy test too soon and that test may be negative, don't give up hope. Don't be too disappointed yet. You still may be pregnant for that cycle. You want to wait closer to that 12 to 14 mark, or even when you miss your period before you start taking a pregnancy test, just in case you don't have that false negative. All right. Let's review, because that was a lot of information. When should you have sex to get pregnant? We want to have sex in that fertile window leading up to ovulation. How do you know when you're ovulating or when that fertile window is happening? I want you to get these handy dandy ovulation kits. I have them right behind me. I want you to use these ovulation kits and you're going to start using them after your period ends until you see a rise in LH and we call that your LH peak, okay? You're gonna keep testing for a couple of days after that LH peak to ensure that is truly your LH peak. Ovulation happens about 24 to 36 hours later and you're gonna have sex during that time. You wanna have sex on your LH peak day and the next day, which is ovulation day, all right? When do you take a pregnancy test? You're going to take that pregnancy test about 12 to 14 days after you've ovulated. All right. Super important information here. I wish you guys the best of luck. I want you to go download the pre-mom app, use the pre-mom app to help read these ovulation sticks. It's super helpful. That's how I got pregnant. And I really want you guys to use this so you can get pregnant as well. Best of luck to you and fingers crossed for that positive pregnancy test. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel.